if I may replace an um, existing established protocol. Um, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we are in a time where there is very high unemployment, unemployability, underemployment, and overdependence on government for social economic development. And trust me, even I have been there. There are times where I didn't have a job. There are times where there was recruitment going on, but I didn't have the ability to present myself as a good candidate. There are times also where I've had the job, but still very much on the way, and I really wasn't happy at it, I wanted to leave. And fourthly, there were also times where even though I had the job, I was happy, everything was going well, I was still depending too much on government for my own needs. Um, trust me also, this is not just my story, but it's also the story of many other youths here in Nigeria, in Africa, in Gombe, and around the world. It is the reason why I'm here. This is the reason why I'm here. I see that the work that Halima Factor Community Initiative is doing is actually trying to reduce these issues that are faced and that many youths are facing. And in fact, don't be surprised that many of the youths that we have right now that are in the education system or in schools are still going to face these challenges. But thankfully, with work that Halima Factor Community Initiative are doing, these problems, these challenges will very much reduce. But, however, in order to really tackle the problem of this unemployment and the uh, issue of dependence on government, we need to look at two things. The supply versus the demand of education versus life. Um, in the education system, you are going through uh, subjects, mathematics, English and all of that, and then at the tertiary level, whatever you choose to decide, uh, whatever you decide to study. But in the aspect of life, you are being presented with so many challenges that will require you to be very much creative, to be a critical thinker and to also be able to really, um, as much as possible, also present yourself, that's one, present your company, two, and then present the products and services that you are offering to the world. And this presentation comes in different forms. First, of course, it comes in a form of text, which is written. It also comes in audio version. After audio, it comes in video version. And most importantly, it comes also in person. So you will be required to stand on stage and present any idea that you have, as I said, whether to your employer or to, uh, to your industry or even to a customer. And as I said, if you look at the two now, the connection between what Halima Factor Community are doing in terms of literacy and creativity in presentation, <laughs> the presentation and also um, all of the literary work that the students are putting out to the society, you will see that there is a connection with what the industries will require of them and also what community and society, even in government. Uh, thankfully, Mr. Manasseh Jato, our Deputy Governor, will also testify to this, that even when you are doing political campaigns, you will need to stand in front of crowd and really sell your political uh, agenda for, for any administration that you want to participate in. And so, as I said, this is the reason why we are very much in tune with what uh, Halima Community Initiative are doing. Uh, for us in Tungsten, what we are trying to do is bring about entrepreneurial thinking through education, uh, business, media, and also um, through uh, finance. So very much uh, in support of Halima Factor Community Initiative, I would like to say that to also um, encourage the participants and the schools and especially the teachers that are here to compete against each other for the prize award uh, which we are giving on Thursday. Um, I'm pleased to announce that uh, we are also, on behalf of Tungsten, uh, coming with cash awards to all the teachers. I know Ms. Halima mentioned that uh, behind every successful man and successful woman, behind every successful leader is a successful team. But let's not forget something, behind every successful human being is a good teacher. And so the cash awards that we have prepared is very much uh, in order to really award all the teachers that are participating. And also beyond the cash award, we are going to also sponsor uh, free training that normally will cost them thousands of naira. So we're giving it all free to them, and uh, which is what I have here. Um, you guys are going to see this on Thursday, hopefully. So this is just to, as I said, encourage the teachers also to make sure they rally up their students and uh, make sure they provide the best performance on Thursday. And you will get each of this, uh, thankfully, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency, all the protocols leader has kept me on top. That has been Engineer Bello Mohammed Pongo of Congress.